So just for fun, sort of uh, testing out the system, we have uh, circuits I.O. simulating a three LED, red, green, blue circuit being controlled by a, an Arduino, uh, pins 13, 12, and 11. Um, they're sort of racing from left to right with a 500 millisecond delay inside the uh, Autodesk circuit so we can simulate it on the screen. And then if I go ahead and press the dock cam here, uh, we can actually transfer this program over to an actual Arduino with real LEDs and um, do it in the real world. Go back here to the PC. Up here you'll see that we're using the web editor um, for the Arduino. Simply copied and uh, pasted the code into the web editor, uh, connected the Arduino to the USB of the Windows PC, uh, selected it, uh, press run, and it downloaded it to the real one. And now it seems to be, this guy's just sort of hanging there, it is uh, running for real, which is kind of cool. So right now it's doing exactly what we asked it to do in simulation, we're doing it in real life. You can see the the Arduino is still plugged into the USB. Right now it's not communicating with the USB. I guess the transmit and the receive LEDs are not flashing. So it's just getting power. So our kit includes a nine volt battery. So what I can do is I can one hand it here. I can go ahead and plug in the nine volt battery. So now it's getting power from both sources. I can unplug, uh, pardon me, do this real quick. Unplug the USB, we're back. So I've unplugged the USB and we're plugged in using the battery. So now we are all by itself. So the microcontroller controls or contains our program. It's uh, following its instructions. It's being powered by the nine volt battery and thankfully not much energy is being consumed by the LEDs. So this will work for a little bit. But um, that's what we're doing this semester. Pretty awesome.